NBC 15 News starts now. Hello, I'm Amy Fluxop. Thanks for joining NBC 15 News on the web. Here's a look at the stories we're following for you today. In our big story this morning, an autopsy is set for Monday for human remains found in neighboring Jefferson County. A person reported seeing what looked like human remains Friday night just after 5 in the town of Sullivan. The Jefferson County Sheriff, Medical Examiner, DA, and DOJ offices were all investigating the scene yesterday. While the office isn't releasing any other details right now, a private investigator for the family of a missing Milwaukee woman says he's interested in this information. I learned that they found human remains somewhere in this area. Um, and because our area of interest is between Milwaukee and Madison, uh, it piqued my interest to at least come out here and see what they found. Kelly Dreyer went missing from her home back in October of 2013. The last person seen with her is Chris Zacco. He's behind bars on a separate conviction. Private searches for Dreyer had already been set to start next week, but if it happens to be the missing 27-year-old, a search since October of 2013 will be over, and it could be turned into a criminal case. Last week, Milwaukee police said Zacco is the only person of interest they have in this case. We'll continue to follow up for you and bring you more details as it becomes available. Well, he may not have been the crowd favorite, but Floyd Mayweather is the welterweight champion. Last night's fight is being dubbed the fight of the century, so anybody who was anybody was in Las Vegas. Big money names watching an even bigger money fight. Mayweather's record remains unblemished, but Manny Pacquiao was clearly the crowd favorite. And even though he lost, he remained confident at the end. I, I, I got him many times. I sold the punches and... I think I, I, I believe, I, I thought I won the fight. All the way to the end, the contest was a close one, but in the end, a unanimous decision came in, making Mayweather the winner. But don't feel bad for his competitor. He reportedly took home $120 million last night. On the other hand, Mayweather earned an estimated $180 million. The favorite at the Kentucky Derby was crowned the big winner. Experts and odd makers had American Pharoah as this year's front runner. Still, though, the race was a close one to the end. This is the jockey's second straight derby win and the fourth career win for the trainer. American Pharoah's winner is celebrating his first derby win after a couple of second place finishes. Onlookers, though, they don't have a whole lot of confidence that this Colt could contend for the Triple Crown, but we'll all just have to wait and see how he does on May 18th. A 4.2 magnitude earthquake shook part of the Midwest. Geological experts say it was centered in southwestern Michigan. It was recorded shortly after noon on Saturday. There was no reports of damage or even injuries, and geophysicists uh, say that's pretty common for a quake of this magnitude. People have reported feeling the earthquake in Indiana, Ohio, Illinois, and even right here in Wisconsin. That's a look at the stories we're following for you. Be sure to join us tonight at 5 and 10. And be sure to click on Amy Carlson's webcast weather. Have yourselves a great Sunday.